Hello everyone, Xenonizer here and welcome back to Pokemon Mr. Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time we scaled Mount Blaze and fought Moltres. This time let's go through the frosty forest and hope we don't run into a figure we saw at the end of the last episode. Frosty Forest. Oh boy, Frosty Forest. Did this place get a bit of an upgrade? Not the uh, really any too big of changes, but due to one Pokemon in particular, which we'll see if we run into them. It's not for it. Oh, great. Agility has changed since P since the original. Uh, agility still affects everyone, before people ask. But now it changes your movement. It actually just boosts the movement speed, not attack speed. So no doubling unless you just used it in a link move. Which means it's still kind of overpowered. Probably even more overpowered because I mean it also allows po other Pokemon to still be affected and still get another turn. Ivory, please. You have got to be joking me. God, I'm just trying to get through this quickly. We still have not found the Pokemon I was talking about, so I'm still not going to talk about that. But I guess I can talk about this dungeon at least. This dungeon focuses on basically oddly enough agility, or rather speed specifically. Later on, because all, all these Pokemon have moves that have something to do with either lowering your speed or increasing their movement speed. Which is not good. But does kind of give tension for um, chasing, chase segments. So if you're trying to escape a Pokemon and they suddenly slow you down, it's definitely going to be... A bit nerve-wracking. And I just realized... No, 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 no. Move settings. Now I know why you're not doing that. Or oh, then it's not a good type matchup. Yeah, but Pokemon still... Wild Pokemon still follow the old rule, which... Isn't exactly fair, but hey, Pokemon wasn't. BMD isn't exactly going to be nice to you, considering you've got the huge advantage. I am thankful that there's no wandering mama swine, because oh my god. Alright, oh, Azuro's normal fairy now. That's another change in this game because it's, because it's using the fairy typing as well. This engine does have a few other things to keep out, keep an eye on, but. We'll have to keep an eye on them. Ah, uh, Powder Snow. The move got, got ch changed how it worked 
I believe, from the original. Pyro Snow, I believe, in the original game, I, if I'm remembering correctly, hit the whole room. This was a problem for the boss of this dungeon. Yeah, there's a boss in this dungeon. I'm not going to try and hide it because, really... It's, it's clear this game is leading up to stuff. And this, game, and this dungeon, for some reason, has a nose pass. Like I said... Messing with... Speed. Oh, you gotta be joking. Nope. Uh... Pro pass. Oh, here it is. Ditto. Ditto got an upgrade. Swift now actually does some. Uh, Swift transform now actually does something that's kind of useful. I believe if Ivory was closer, she would have got confused. And oh. Uh, over after this bit, sorry. Someone has intruded upon the forest. The enfeebled flow of icy winds is the intrusion to blame. It must be stopped, for it is to protect the forest. Spooky. Anyways, Dill also, as you saw, now actually gets to use the moves I use, which is the real danger of of Dill, because it now just copies everything of you, like in the normal games, making Dill kind of a threat. In I don't believe they do this anymore in this game. I don't believe they're in this game. But in Super, they were even meaner. If it was, I didn't even think it was possible, but they did so. Ditto could poten just potentially just be an item, just laying on the ground, just like that money could have been a ditto. If I picked it up, it would suddenly transform into me. I wouldn't get a chance. Okay. We're bringing this link box, because link boxes are really hard to find, and we want to try and keep every link box we can. We at least know one area. You have got to be joking. God. Now I've blanked out. But yeah, Ditto now is probably one of the biggest threats compared to originally where if you use Transform, it would only get struggle after that. Making it kind of pointless to even use in a dungeon. A cover band is not really useful. Uh, that's kind of useful. That's... This is probably one of the worst Gekling shops I've ever run into. It's like, they're, they're not bad, but for what we're needing right now, it's kind of pointless. Okay. We're going to deposit this plane seed because plane seeds are useless. I believe in the original game, you can even deposit those, which made it so painful. We're going to take our empowerment seed. We're going to actually bring our pure seed. This is going to be weird, but there's a reason why I'm doing this. Frosty Forest, Fro Frosty Forest, Heart of Frosty Forest. We have Pokemon that really, really want us dead. And they're not ice types now. Most of the Pokemon here are either rock 
or steel, I believe. This is not gonna be nice. It's gonna be agonizing. And we want to try and get through this dungeon as quick as possible right now. What's worse is I believe Rhyhorn can potentially have Horn Drill, which, oh no, that's not good. I may be wrong, and, oh, Poison Jab, that's actually good for later. Right now, it's, it's, it's kind of useless. Yes, I know. I'm surprised it's giving me the... Why are you doing that, Ivory? We're trying to run away. We're not trying to grind to become better. This is the thing I was afraid of. Matang. Thankfully, Bite is now super effective. Matang hits hard. We... Matang's probably the most dangerous thing. Because I don't think Ditto appears anymore. But if Ditto does, that's a danger for us. Will I try and get through this dungeon as quick as possible? No, we're not... As much as I would want to pick up that skateboard, because the skateboards are really good. No! Time if I recede. Uh, what to give away? The tiny apple. You may be thinking I'm going to use the piercing now. No! I don't want to be murdered. Okay. Now I'm going to use the pure seed. Because I believe... Oh, we're done. Good money. I believe... Nope, I'm wrong. I didn't think this floor... I didn't think this dungeon was that long. I, I must have mistaken it for another dungeon. No, I definitely mistaked it for another dungeon. That's not good. There's another dungeon that has... That seems quite long, but really isn't, honestly. And the second part of it is really short to the point where it's kind of embarrassing. Especially in the original game where, if you guys know the dungeon I'm talking about, you know that it literally only had really one floor. We're not fighting that thing. I was one floor off. We sure have travelled far into this forest. I think we'll be out if we can get through this part. It shouldn't be far. Let's keep going. Huh? Zeno, did you just say something? I didn't think so. I thought I heard a voice. I must have imagined it. Turn back. You may. Who's there? You are forbidden to pass. If you persist in trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you have defeated me. Bright warning, it is really annoying. Not as bad as the original though. Oh, so bright. The ice around us is reflecting this light. I'm so sorry. I'm got seriously in the original game. It was worse. I am Articuno, the warder of ice. Those that enter the forest, I shall destroy with all my might. Let us. Articuno! And this game isn't actually that bad, but it's kind of annoying to deal with. But not actually that bad, honestly. But in the original game, oh boy. Oh wait. I better turn off Razor Leaf. 
Cause Missed. Stats won't go down. Oh, Powder Snow. Powder Snow is really annoying in the original. Thankfully, in this game, it's not as bad because it doesn't hit the whole goddamn room and Articuno... It doesn't have the most annoying thing about it where Articuno has stupid luck. Actually, we're going to hit with a Confused Wand. Really? Don't! I'm fine, Ivory. You're the one that needs to keep healing it. Healing yourself. Really? Arcuno, Arcuno wasn't wasn't this bad on my on my own personal playthrough, and I was stacking statuses on it over and over. Granted, it's not as and it usually never recovered this quickly. Please, Articuno, we have to get through, no matter what. Please, let us pass. No, I cannot allow your passage. Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid fro forest's air it has warmed considerably in recent times. Warmed? I'm still freezing, but... The flow of frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. This has never happened even once. Then you appeared in the forest. Is this not your doing? We don't have anything to do with that. It's a coincidence. Please, Articuno, listen to me. It's not our fault that the snow is melting. It's not just here, right now. Natural calamities are occurring everywhere. The forest's frigid airflow would have been disturbed even if we hadn't come. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? Ah! Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end. Stop it! Absol! There is nothing false in what they said. Calamities are indeed occurring in nature everywhere. Is... is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced such before. So there are calamities besides this. Fine. I will choose to believe you. In front of someone who's literally just said, Yes, this shit is happening. I know. I've got the ability to sense it. You will choose to believe us. You may pass. Articuno. However. You must try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep, we promise, Arikuno. Like we promised Moltres. We're not even going to mention that. Alright, fine. Whew. 
That was too close. Thank you. You saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. If they are left unchecked, the worst will befall us. My instinct warns me so. Ugh. I sense the terrible power of natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. Huh? You will? Really? Really. To put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. Thank you, Absol. You can now access the Darkness Ridge Camp and... Absol joined your team. Whoa! It has the real quality squeeze out! And we've got a new party member! So this part is special to me, but I'll go into that probably next episode because I need to talk more about Absol in that episode. And so, getting through Frosty Forest, Xeno's team headed far farther north. The more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. This icy mountain path seems to go on forever. I like the touch of Absol just not caring. Because Absol would not be bothered by this. Because fur. Nice touch. Also, probably been in worse climates to warn people. We've walked a long way here. Ivory looks exhausted too. I'm not going to talk about Absol because Absol just doesn't seem to care. We've been running all this time out of desperation except for Absol who just decided to join us. What's in store for us ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? Brr, this is too cold. There's nothing but snow now. The scenery's been the same for a while. I wonder if we're really making progress. Hey, uh, Zeno, I was thinking, it looks like we finally reached somewhere that's deserted. I also have a feeling that there isn't anything ahead, and I'm, I am pretty tired. But two of us, what's going to happen to us? We'll be fine, we've got Absol here. You're right. There isn't any point in wondering about what we did. Not after all this. Sorry, Zeno. I was getting down on myself. You're not going to apologize to Absol for not caring about him? Zeno, I believe in you. And that's what got me this far. And that's not changing. I have faith in you, Zeno. I'll go with you. Always. Yes. I've really trust me without any doubt. I can't afford to be indecisive. I have to believe in myself more. What was that? D does he... What? Huh? Is something wrong, Zeno? Finally. Finally you have arrived. Someone... Someone is talking to me? Ivory? No. This voice isn't Ivory. This voice. I've heard it somewhere. Finally. You have arrived. I have been waiting for you. G Gardevoir! I am so glad. Finally, we get to meet. Your. What? Zeno, is something the matter? Why are you talking to yourself like a crazy person? I cannot be seen by others. I am visible only to you. A little farther ahead, there is a jagged mountain range topped by Mount Freeze. On its peak, Nine Tails lives. Nine Tails? Nine Tails awaits your arrival. Beware. Oh, wait. Hey, Zeno. Zeno! What's the matter? What happened? Uh, 
Oh, so that's what happened. God will appear to you. And that's why you were looking so stunned earlier. I'm amazed, though. Nine Tails isn't just a legend. It really exists. And that Nine Tails is up at the peak. Zeno, all the effort we put into getting here is finally going to bear fruit. We'll meet Nine Tails and get the truth. We'll finally get rid of the suspicious suspicions they have on you, Zeno. Awesome. Listen, Zeno. Don't be so worried. It will be all right. It's only natural that you'd be scared of meeting Nine Tails, Zeno. The heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir. It may be you. I can understand how you can think that. But that's impossible. You're not the human, I'm sure. How can you say that? Hmm? Well, there was a time when I had some doubts, but now... I wonder why. I really don't know why. But it doesn't matter. I know you're a good sort, Zeno. Do you remember? When I first got to start the res rescue team? I met you in Tiny Woods, Zeno. Even back then, I sensed there was something different about you. It is weird, isn't it? But I believe in you, Zeno. Anyway, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Zeno, let's do our best. I felt a special something from you since the first time I saw you. There is indeed a reason. But what you are is none of my business. Zeno, let's keep moving forward. Next time, on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, we're going to find Ninetales. We will talk to Ninetales and learn the truth. And then, we'll return home, either heroes or villains. Visit Xeno and Izuma, the future day with Ivory and Absol. Signing out.